Let's take a few moments and look at how to form or ask questions in German. I'm going to be looking at two ways to do this. The first way will make use of an interrogative pronoun. Uh, the second way will actually change the word order of the German sentence a bit. The syntax of the German sentence will be switched around. So um, let's take a look at the first way uh, using an interrogative pronoun and start off by looking at an English sentence. When are you coming? Um, well, the, this sentence makes use of an interrogative pronoun, and that interrogative pronoun is actually right at the very beginning, when. Now, when you use an interrogative pronoun, what you're essentially asking is for more information that cannot be summarized in a simple yes or no answer. When are you coming? Uh, well, tomorrow at noon. Now, German makes use of interrogative pronouns as well. And like English, they come at the beginning of a, of a question. Wann kommst du? When are you coming? The interrogative pronoun is in the first position, the verb in the second, and the rest of the sentence or the rest of the question in the third position. Now, we could switch out interrogative pronouns very easily. Wann kommst du? When are you coming? Wie kommst du? How are you coming? In what manner are you coming? And finally, woher kommst du? Uh, where are you coming from? Whence are you coming? The main thing that we need to notice here is that the interrogative pronouns will always be in the first position. Um, the verb, as you can see here in the, on the screen in the red, always is in the second position. It is sort of the, the, the focal point, the, the hinge on which the whole question turns. And then finally, everything else, uh, the remainder of the questions can be put into the third position. So to summarize, when you use an interrogative pronoun, the interrogative pronoun comes at the beginning of the sentence. Uh, interrogative pronouns dig for more information. They want to know stuff that can't be summarized in a simple yes or no answer. Now let's look at the other way to formulate a question. Are you coming? Now notice in this English sentence that there is no interrogative pronoun. Instead, the verb are comes at the very beginning. Now, also notice that by leaving the interrogative pronoun out and putting the verb at the beginning of the sentence, in the first position, we change the quality of, of the response a bit. Um, we no longer want lots of information, specific information. Instead, the answer can be summarized in a simple yes or no. Are you coming? No. Now, German does the same thing. Kommst du? Heist du, Alex? Studierst du an der Uni? All of these questions have the verb in the first position. Kommst du? Are you coming? Ja. Heist du, Alex? Is your name Alex? Um, nein. Studierst du an der Uni? Are you studying at the university? Ja. So, when we, to sort of to summarize here now, if we want, if we don't want a lot of information, if we want a simple yes or no, then we can put the verb in the first position in a German sentence. Of course, we still have to have subject-verb agreement. Kommst du? The verb is conjugated to agree with the second person, singular, personal pronoun do. Otherwise, uh, all of these questions uh, elicit a simple yes or no answer.